GarageBand iOS comes free with any Apple products such as iPhone or iPad, and Logic Pro costs around three hundred Canadian dollar with tax. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make the recording of orchestral suite number two, Body Nahi, one of the most famous pieces by Bach in GarageBand iOS, and compare the final work to Logic Pro. To start recording, open GarageBand. Since the main melody is in flute, we will start from flute. Test the flute. I'm using Bluetooth MIDI. To connect the Bluetooth MIDI, click on the setting button, advanced, and connect. Check time signature, set tempo, and you are good to go. Because this piece of music doesn't start on beat 1, we will wait a bit to record on beat 3. You can also record on beat 1. Simply drag the track a bit right to start on beat 3. Now we finish recording the main melody. Let's move on to the next track. Here I tap on the track to duplicate, copy and paste. One track for GarageBand, the other track for Logic Pro. You can also do the duplicate in Logic Pro. Quantize one of the tracks straight. Choose 30 seconds or 64 because we have the trios here. Now let's make recording of the first violin, second violin, viola, and bass. Because we don't have first violin here in GarageBand iOS, I'm using string sustain. Again, after the recording, duplicate the track, copy and paste. Second violin. Viola. Since it's baroque music, I'm adding harpsichord. However, there's no harpsichord in GarageBand iOS. I created my own. You can search how to make harpsichord sound in the GarageBand iOS on my channel. Now let's listen how this piece of music sounds like in GarageBand iOS. I'm going to airdrop my project to Logic Pro. When you receive your project on Mac, open with Logic Pro. 
In Logic Pro, I'm going to add harpsichord sound to compare with what I did in GarageBand iOS. Here I add Space Designer for default setting. Let's listen how it sounds like with Space Designer. Now I'm going to try the orchestral instruments here in Logic Pro as it's not available in GarageBand iOS and after choosing them, I'm going to add the Space Designer default setting to see how it sounds like eventually. Now let's listen how the orchestral instrument perform here in Logic Pro. Let's listen how GarageBand iOS performs the last time. 